Didn't RJ just tell Thomas that he wasn't going to interfere in what his parents got going on? But he's still talking to Eric about his mama. Hey, y'all, welcome back to another video. We'd like to test this for the ball and beautiful May 17, 2023. Okay, look, I was going to start with Taylor um, playing matchmaker, but we got to talk about RJ. Because we've been seeing him since he got back, say so he didn't want to get involved in family drama. Now, it's one thing to be concerned about your mama. Of course, you're going to be. But it kind of seemed like he expected his parents to be back together. And then that's going to be a whole nother situation. I know they said it was a spoiler that Steffi and him supposed to be talking about Ridge, Taylor, and uh, Brooke. So I'm guessing that's going to be on tomorrow's episode because they didn't show us today. Just, they just told her telling him he has a right to his feelings and everything. But when he was talking to Eric, he was talking to Eric. Uh, he want to know if Brooke is really happy. Um, is she okay? And I said, well, why are you asking Eric? I know that's one of her many, but <laughs> I said, that's kind of seemed like, okay, who, you you supposed to go to your mama or talk to Ridge about it or I don't know, somebody, Hope, even because yeah, that's your sister. But I don't understand why he was talking, I guess, because it's just his grandfather or whatever. I don't know. But he was talking about him. Eric basically was trying to reassure him as well as he told him that he think the person he need to be talking to is Brooke about her and to see how she feeling and everything. So now he's talking to Stephanie about it. I said, oh. they, hopefully they don't get to arguing about it, but more than likely uh, they're going to have different opinions. But she did tell him, because he was talking about he's concerned about his mom, and she was like, you concerned about Brooke? Why? And then he was about, he said about everything that's been going on, and I said, man, they can't come up with nothing else. They brought this man back just to be, trying to play matchmaker for his parents because that's what it's looking like that's definitely what it's looking like and i feel disappointed which leads me to taylor i feel i feel like she's gonna be disappointed because she's trying to hook now first she was trying to hook brooke up with, with uh i about to say with taylor lord jesus i was about to say uh first she tried to hook brooke up with hollis that didn't work now she trying to hook brooke up with dickie and I don't know if they're going to actually go that route or what, especially since Sheila is in jail now. And, you know, Deacon was, he said he loved her and all that other good stuff. But my thing is, then they had, so Taylor and Brooke talking about Hollis and they just meeting up at the restaurant again. And she was like, she just wants someone who she has a history with. I said, well, you only got three options I think three. Shoot, who knows? Cause they the only three on the show right now. It's a uh, Deacon, it's Bill, and it's Rich. She told me she wants somebody. I thought she said she didn't want nobody. Okay, <laughs> they be forget what they wrote, didn't it? I ain't said didn't it, ain't it? <laughs> but I said, why would you want? What's with people in this history stuff? Oh, we got a history, so let's try again. I was just talking about this on General Hospital Review yesterday. They always talking about history. Well, if you got history, then you should know that whatever the problem was back then is going to be the problem now until you fix it or whatever. But yeah, she said she wants somebody with history, so Taylor just studied looking at Deacon and, them, and her just talking and everything. And, I said, and she talks about their pack about Rich. And I said, you finna be disappointed because she still ain't told you. She still hasn't told you about the dropping her lingerie, dropping her, I said dropping her lingerie, dropping her robe and everything intentionally and then somebody said oops she hadn't told you about them almost kisses she hadn't told you about none of that she keep it secrets and y'all made a pact that's gonna blow up in her face but i don't know they might actually put brooke with digging again because you know they'll introduce a storyline and then they'll drop it they'll definitely drop it and i said i don't know where they're going with this but deacon was talking about um, he's still shocked to see Brooke and Taylor actually getting along. Fans tell Steffi that Sheila wants to see him. Look, this is another thing, the Sheila situation. First of all, how Mike Abel, I know he keeps he keep saying how he got connection because you don't guess because he used to be a guard there. But if you don't already help her escape or admitted to helping her escape and then you in jail yourself, <laughs> how indeed is the fact how she keep getting all these visitors in one day? I thought you could only get one visitor at one time. I don't know. But then, like, he keep being able to see her. They meeting and stuff. I said, I, I, is that possible for real? Can you see another inmate? I said, how they study able? And he's like, got connection still. And she was, she was telling him he want to know what's going on. Who came to visit? It was Jack or whatever. What did, what did, look, Michael might as well just let it go at this point. She look, keep overlooking him. She don't want him. That's just that. He just keep trying. He trying to talk some sense to her. Told her to accept her face. She get in there with him. But she said she ain't going to never accept it. And I said, okay, do y'all think that they introduced the Jack helping her storyline just to drop it, or will we see Jack again? What would lead to Jack 
what could possibly lead to Jack actually helping her? I said, we seen him one episode. I said, one, well, technically, one and a half. Well, that's a full episode because it was 30 minutes. Well, less than 30 minutes. But, I, again, I keep saying it. I don't think they would sit up here and still show her. I had heard, they said she signed a contract. So, I don't know when we're going to stop seeing she She little entertaining to me. She made the show interesting to me. But, yeah, they keep showing her. And I was like, okay, they did all this to put her behind bars. But we keep seeing her. We keep seeing her. I said, so what's going to happen? But, yeah, I feel like Finn still got, like, he he's supposed to go there to tell her off and all this stuff. Tell her she's never going to have a relationship with him or uh, his son and all that. And I said, I still feel like a part of him deep down cares about her. Because even at the, now, if that wasn't enough, she doesn't, before you got shot yourself, Stephanie was telling you what she did and she how she shot Brooke and stuff. And you still wanted something to do with her. You still were saying how she changed until you was the one. So I don't know. We just gonna have to wait to see how this all plays out and how she gonna get out of this because that's what they implying that she will get out of it. But yeah, um, Finn was telling Steph if she didn't want to see him, but not only because she, uh, his mama, but he a doctor. He a doctor or whatever because, you know, he tended to. I said he could just, re- could he reject her? I don't know. Well, Mike tells Sheila to, I skipped though. where is, Mike told Sheila, he guess she's stuck in there with him. And she said, not for long. RJ talking about his parents being apart because of a lie. And I said, yeah, he going to be in the, right in the mix of that family drama that he said he didn't want to be a part of. Mike tells Sheila to accept her fate, but she said she'll never accept that. And um, I said, they got her back talking about her son and grandson. Because if he was watching for a while, she was so focused on Bill and hiding the fact that she was sneaking around with Deacon that she didn't talk about uh, Finn until she got caught thinking about something, acting different, I said it. And Bill wanted to know what she was thinking about. And she was like, my son. But she really wasn't thinking about her son. I said, but yeah, she hadn't talked about them in a while. She was too focused on them. But now she made, I, I got to have something. Basically, she wants something to do with her son and her grandson. She got to get out so she can have a relationship. I said, this lady crazy. I said, if you, if you know she crazy, why everybody feel the need to go confront her? Everybody got to take turns to go. I got to go let her know how I feel. I got to let her know. I said, okay. Last time Lee wouldn't let her know how she feels. She broke out of jail. <laughs> so if I was you, it would make sense to stay away from her, right? You ain't got to go tell her. You ain't got to let her go tell her. Okay, I just came here to let you know. Just like Jack. Jack and, and Finn the same. <laughs> Jack said, I'm coming to let you know to stop writing me. And Finn said the same thing, basically. Uh, they Well, he that's what he told Steffi. He said you got to go let, basically clarify to her um, that they ain't going to never have a relationship. She going to be in there for the rest of her life. You, if you've seen the preview for this week's episode, you already know. But yeah, I said, why everybody got to feel the need to go tell her? You could just ignore her. Eventually, she'll get the message. Well, I don't know, because she look kind of crazy. <laughs> she was just sitting up there. He telling her why he saved her. And she's just like, my son, you came. You actually came. And and he's like, I'm a doctor. I'm so, <laughs> That's my job. And she's like, no, I know it's a part. We got this connection. We got this connection. I said, lady, you crazy. <laughs> I said, this is why they call you crazy now. <laughs> She's like, we got this. It's a mother, mother, um, mother, son. What I, what I was about to say. <laughs> I was say mother, father or something. We got this mother, son connection and all that. I know you care about me. I said, she's on off the deep end. I said, stay away from her. I said, stay away from her. <laughs> but um, let me see. Yeah, like I said, Finn told Sheila he adopted. It was his job. And again, Sheila delusional. She's delusional. And I said, the fact that you see she crazy and delusional and anything you do, I, who was that? Was that um, Lee who said that she gonna, Sheila was going to take that as a sign that Finn wants a relationship with her? And whoever said, I think it was Lee or Steffi or both of them. I can't remember. But whoever said that, they write. She like, you saved me and all that. She thanks him for saving her. And just study smiling. And I said, what you smiling for? I was like, and she keeps saying how she's going to get out. I said, if she can't get Jack to help her, how is she going to get out of this? And I said, if, when she do get out, if she gets out, they better watch her. Because next thing you know, she's going to be about to grab Hayes or grab Finn or something like that. But yeah, um. Uh, that's how that happened. They ended the episode with Taylor trying to play matchmaker again, hooking Deacon up with Brooks, saying that now it's probably the perfect time because, you know, he's doing better. She not They made a pact to stay away from Ridge. And I said, you're going to be disappointed because Ridge was over here about to kiss her, and she was about to kiss him. And she intentionally dropped that dog on the road. But, you know, I don't know if they're going to actually address that or not. But, yeah, y'all let me know down below what did y'all think of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, do this. Have a great day and be safe.